After five epic freestyle motocross battles, the 2010 Red Bull X Fighters World Tour takes its sixth and final stop into Rome, Italy. Twenty thousand crazed Italian fans packed into the Stadio Flaminio to watch the final stop in the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour. Freestyle motocross is a story of a modern day gladiator, where conquering one's opponent is the only way to advance. The story here in Rome was about two of our gladiators, Andre Villa and Nate Adams. For either of these riders, a win would mean the series title. And it was Villa who looked strongest in the first round with an almost perfect run. But then, disaster struck in the semi-finals when unfamiliar mistakes from Villa would cost him the win against Adam Jones. I did a mistake and I, I just couldn't connect my boot good enough on, on a cliffhanger, so I didn't want to extend. Uh, and that's, that's it right there, you know? There's no room for mistakes in a level like this. A visible sigh of relief would come from Adams upon realizing that Villa's mistake would give him the tour title. But tonight, Adams wanted to win the Red Bull X Fighters final stump. To do that, he would have to take down Spain's Danny Torres. Adams put in an almost perfect run in Rome with huge tricks, great extensions, but it wouldn't be enough. Danny Torres would beat Nate Adams in the semi-final. Man, yeah, this is the series to win. If you want to be a series champion, this is it. While Formula One driver David Coulthard entertained the fans, the final would be set up between Adam Jones of the USA and Spain's Danny Torres. Jones is the tour's best technical rider, and he put down a fantastic run in the Roman night skies. Then, Danny Torres took to the course. Torres, coming back from injury this year, would finally put it all together on the night. Smooth, fluid, perfect. Danny Torres would finally take a win in 2010, but Nate Adams, would take the top spot in a tour that has thrilled fans in unique and incredible locations all over the globe. <laughs>